Hi everybody, it's Delusional. I just wanted to show you some games. This one's called uh, Future Pinball, but I'm also going to show you Visual Pinball. Uh, Future Pinball is a little more robust. It's a lot more, you can have more angles and you can uh, click on, I believe, manual mode. Let's see. Uh, which lets you kind of zoom around the room. It's like, kind of like a 360. Over here, you know, you have the cocktail cab. Over here is the uh, bar and move patrol and all that stuff. So I'm going to leave it back to, I believe, Full table. Full table lets you see the whole thing. I kind of like it in a little bit. Um, and you could also do some low angles and stuff like that. But um, let's see. Put a quarter in. You can select what game you want. I want Zombie Attack. This particular one just has uh, different options you can choose. Let's see. Okay. So the buttons are on the side. It also has uh, bump buttons. You can bump right or left. So uh, if you do it too much, it will tilt. So it's very uh, identical to a real pinball table. And there it is. So that's this one. I'm going to purposely lose. Game over, man. Game over. So this one's uh, called Dead Hunter. I'm going to exit this one, and there's another one. That's one that you can download. You can download like Roll Girls and stuff like that, but uh, Six Million Dollar Man. But Sci-Fi Classic, the one that's here, this one actually came with uh, Future Pinball. So if you ever get Future Pinball online at futurepinball.com, it'll come with this as a default, and this is a great table, so you don't even have to download any of the other ones. Uh, this one's called Sci-Fi Classic. Again, it comes with it. Um, put a quarter in. All right, I'm going to start now. Let's see. I have the keyboard here. You can assign the keys to whatever you want, but for now I don't have them assigned, so I'm just I just have my little keyboard out here. Uh, let's see. Let me try a. Let me try a different view here. Oops. Okay, let's try that. And see what happens. I believe this angle follows. It kind of follows it around. Yeah, so this is what I mean. It's a little more 3D-ish than Visual Pinball. Uh, Visual Pinball will look... Yeah, this is a scrolling thing that I was telling you about. It's kind of cool. It gets you a little dizzy, but... <laughs> okay, so that's this game. I'm actually going to leave it at that default for now. So that's Future Pinball. Great stuff. Okay, now I'm going to go back to my menu to Visual Pinball. And Visual Pinball, um, basically, if you can see the screenshot here, that's exactly how it looks. It's all full screen. It looks real and everything. You can put quarters in and everything. You have the plunger button and the uh, side. Um, but the only difference is there's no angles to play with. You can't look around the room. You know, it's, it's just very dedicated just to the thing itself. What's cool about Visual uh, Pin Mame or uh, Visual Pinball is that this board over here, if you configure it, if you have another monitor, you can actually have it on top. This will be like the display and the other one on a vertical uh, LCD. You could probably have a uh, pinball machine that's virtual. It's actually kind of neat. So I'm going to play this one here. Okay. There's the ball. Um, instead of pulling back, I'm going to show you I have this button here. These are the buttons. To me, these look a little more real than Future Pinball. Future Pinball looks a little cartoony, but again, the graphics are really cool and it's able to scroll and stuff like that. But still, they're great games to have. Um, the difference between this and Future Pinball is Future Pinball is completely free legally, I guess. Um, the ROMs, you won't have to worry about downloading them because they're all free and people make them. This one, they're actually ROM tables. These are actually true dedications that people build based on the ROMs. So you're going to have, you might have a little trouble finding them. But the emulator itself is free, just like all the emulators. So that's this one, it's South Park. 
going to show you not, actually no, that was Simpsons. I'm going to show you South Park right now. Let's see, I just saw it here. South Park. I ran out of quarters, so I'm just going to use my coin button. I just put these in, so uh, I still have the coin buttons on here, which I'm going to remove eventually. Okay. Okay, start. There's the ball. Try tilting. Yeah, it's very sensitive, just like a real machine. If you tilt, game over. Mr. Quake says you can help with the game. There you go. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is my pinball stuff. There's tons and tons and tons of games that you can get for um, visual pinball. Uh, these are all the ones I have. There's tons and tons of them. But, um, like I said, the other one for future pinball, there's not as many out there, but they're a little more 3D-ish compared to visual pinball. Okay, if you have any questions, just feel free to email me.